Uh, so, you know, you've got Iron Fist here, but of course it's the fourth of these series, so when you're casting Finn, is it interesting because you're seeing how he's going to work on this show, but you're also thinking ahead to the larger world at the same time? Uh, you know, it was funny, we were just talking about this. I, there really wasn't any other choice. Uh, Larray and Julie, who are our casting directors, are so extraordinarily talented. They brought Finn in. Um, he just sort of owned it. He had the, the, the things that we needed, which was that he has kind of a, a, a boyish charm about him. And then at the same time, he has that kind of just smoldering anger that's hanging just beneath it so that when he opens up a can of whoop ass, uh, you better step back. Uh, you know, it, it's funny, I remember we were on the set uh, and John Dahl, who directed our, our first two episodes um, and has obviously worked with enormously talented people, turned to us and said, I don't, maybe it's just me, but it, I, like, I see a lot of young Leonardo DiCaprio in this guy and, and that kind of range. Um, you've seen the range, I think that's... Oh, I, yeah, absolutely. Dan, I mean, Danny is a very complex character. He's someone who's torn between two worlds. He doesn't really belong in either one of them. So, the, you know, this is a story of, of a character who's on a journey to really sort of discover himself and where his place in the world is. And, you know, these Netflix uh, Marvel series have obviously have their own sort of tone, different from the movies, but then each individual series has its own feel to it as well, different vibe. For Iron Fist, was there something you sort of had in mind going in that you knew, okay, this is sort of what we want it to feel like, an inspiration? Um, well, we certainly took uh, an awful lot of it from, from modern martial arts and, and some, uh, you know, less modern martial arts films. Um, the titles... Uh, the titles are named after various kung fu moves as well. Um, you know, but I'd also say this show has a slightly lighter tone than the others, and, and it was not necessarily a conscious choice of we need, to, we need to, to lighten up the show a bit. It's just that Danny Rand himself is a much lighter character. He's someone who has optimism and, and hope, and despite whatever the odds are, everything is always going to work out, mm -hmm. even if it's a foolish thing to think at the time. And uh, lastly, uh, these shows have had, you know, very interesting villains throughout them. Can you talk about what threat Danny will be facing here? Uh, um, sure, after you see the show, <laughs> that'll be awesome. <laughs> uh, I, we can just tell you that there's a lot of surprises uh, and, and that uh, we think it'll be a, something that, that people get extremely excited about, particularly in terms of the kind of action that's been choreographed and the extraordinary directors that we brought on board in order to make that happen. Was it fun for you to have these big action sequences? Iron Fist obviously is a very action-oriented character. It was great. I've never done anything quite like this before, so it was very much a learning curve for me. But fortunately, with, with people like Brett Chan uh, heading up our stunt team, we had absolutely the best people in the business to, to accomplish this for us. Gentlemen, looking forward to the show. Thanks a lot.